Perry, welcome. What have we learned about the consumer this week? Well, first of all, you know, you, you, you guys did a pretty good job this morning, I think, of, of cleaning up the numbers of retail sales. And so when you extract auto sales, which everybody bought a new auto in the last two years, right, and gasoline, Sales are actually up 0.8%. That was above expectation. So there was a lot of good news there in those numbers, and many categories were strong. There was obviously weakness uh, in things that you already have. Appliances, I said cars, but appliances, electronics, the, the, the super casual apparel that you've been wearing for two and a half years. I mean, you've got enough of that. So th those categories are weak. But dress apparel was up, beauty categories were, were up, and there were several others. So Online I actually feel... Up. I actually feel okay about where we were. I am a little worried about going forward. I and mean, this is, we get to this uh, target subject, and, I, and we're all a little bit concerned about that big drop. But, but the reality is, they took their, their licking and, and, and took, got rid of, hopefully, enough of the bad inventory so that they're positioning themselves going forward. But they, they got into a, a pickle with too much inventory, no question, and that's, that's a cardinal sin for retailers, is, is too much inventory. Particularly, if you're going to have too much inventory, get it in the fourth quarter, not in the second quarter. So th there's, there's going to be other retailers that are going to have the same issue of cleaning up uh, overstock situation. Okay, before we get to them, Target in, in particular, because it, it does feel like there's been a lot of bad news lately and a lot of kitchen sinking and a lot of we're, we're taking this now, and then the, the second half is going to be better. Do you believe them? Well, I do believe they're going to be better uh, because I think they, they just have, and but this happens a lot, by the way, or I shouldn't say it happens. What, what I see as what happened in the last six months is there was obviously delays of inventory coming in due to the supply chain issues. At the same time, retailers were panicked because they were out of inventory and they were ordering more inventory. And all of a sudden, this, many of the supply chain issues got corrected and it sort of double dipped on top of them and they had too much inventory to deal with. And so that, you know, they're, they're, it's not excusable, uh, but I can understand how it happened to many retailers. Inventory management is a critical role and critical subject for, for anybody who's going to have a good second, uh, second half. And you have to go in to the second half with clean inventory. Fresh, new receipts are critical to your performance in the second Who half. Who else is going to have trouble? Anybody, you know, you'll have to look at all the numbers, whoever reports, but w anybody who's got a big lump of inventory significantly above their, sa their sales trend is going to have to take some Which lumps. Which is most everyone now. A lot of them. Because they, they all were, had, had, were super lean last year. <laughs> during COVID and, they and made during money. shortages. And yeah, they, they made money. They, they, they missed were able to sales. raise prices. And now the consumer's changing and the supply chain is clearing up. Yeah. We always said, you know, uh, we, we hated to miss sales. We made a lot more money when we did and we were chasing uh, after sales because we were, our, in, our margins were higher. We were taking less markdowns and we never uh, performed long term well when we were overstocked. So do you think that we will see disinflation in apparel and accessories now going forward because of all these markdowns and the easing of supply chains and inflation? I, I definitely think there's retail adjustments that are going to take place now, but I'm thinking by the fourth quarter, we're going to, people are going to be back in good position and you're going to start seeing some more of that inflation that we've experienced in the last, the last year. And by the way, apparel has had, hasn't had inflation for 10 years. Okay, so, so there is a substantial deflation for many, many years, and they're just sort of catching up now. And, it, and honestly, Sarah, it's not making a huge difference in a $50 item, the inflation that we're dealing with now for, for apparel. So that has actually helped some of the retailers, certainly in 2021 and the first quarter of 2022. Uh, and so I think that'll all get adjusted out. So, in the, so next the problem.